Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give you the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 update. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 star Karen Gillan says Nebula is starting to rebuild her life after the death of her abusive adopted father Thanos in Avengers Endgame. We know that through time travel she was then reunited with the 2014 version of her adopted sister and former rival Gamora who was killed by Thanos in 2018 when the Mad Titan sacrificed his quote unquote favorite daughter to obtain the Soul Stone in Avengers Infinity War which also happened to be Nebula's first encounter and team up with Earth's mightiest heroes in their attempt to prevent galaxy-wide genocide. But during a panel at GalaxyCon Live, she explained how she saw her character, saying I was able to use a lot of psychology essays on that character, because she's someone who's dealt with a lot of abuse from her father from such a young age. Not to make it too heavy, but when he pitted the siblings against each other, she would be inferior and the scapegoat, while the other one was the golden child. It's actually quite a common thing to happen within families and siblings. However, I don't have any siblings so it's something I really had to read up on. She then said she admires Nebula for her ability to slightly move past that a little bit. In Avengers, she had to face the source of her abuse, then actually watch him get eliminated from her life. I'm sort of thinking about future Nebula in the sense like, what is she going to be like now that that person's abuse has gone out of her life? How is she going to build herself back up again? Because it's an odd feeling. I think for someone who's been abused by a parent because they still love them and they're sad that they're gone, but also at the same time hate them and they're glad that they're gone. Nebula has just had a really hard time, leaving Gillen feeling sympathy and empathy towards her character. Finally, Gillen added, I'm interested to maybe try to take her to a place now where she's starting to rebuild her life. And this last sentence is actually really interesting and good news for any Nebula fans out there. She wants to rebuild her character's life, whether that be through a relationship with her sister Gamora or on missions with the Guardians. But whatever the case may be, you can be assured that they're not going to kill her off anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, Larry, this is going to sound like I'm anti-Marvel. When, when you know I, I, I drape myself in Marvel, usually. <laughs> I, I, I drape my body in Marvel. I didn't learn nothing from Karen Gilliam. I learned nothing. I already mm. knew they weren't going to get rid of the character. Um, I right. know she's in a long-term contract. I learned nothing new, and I can't take back those two minutes. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like some of the most popular characters with within the MCU, they're going to be around. And so the I know, I know people speculate that some people are going to get taken out, whatever. But most likely, either the characters are going to be around in one iteration or another. They might lose the actual person that's playing them. But I think it, I think we'll see a lot of the characters come back. And I, I mean. Do do I you mean, even like do you like Nebula? First of all, like I mean, she's she's all right. She was cool, but they just I feel like they never they never let us really know her enough. They they gave us a little taste of who she was, but they never like Nebula's one of those people I think I wouldn't want to see her with her own movie, but she mm -hmm. might be good for like a uh for like a TV show. And it may not even be like a, a full like a full, you know, trying to do multi-season. It might just be good for like a mini series. You know, just like an eight episode run on, on HBO or something might be good. Because at this point, her issue with her sister kind of feels resolved because um, Thanos sister, is dead. Well, Thanos is dead, but her sister is missing too. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing else she's got to resolve. Um, I. Hey man, I mean, I, I mean, we know, we know that death does not resolve everything for people. You can have all kinds of unresolved feelings after people die. We know that. That that's fine. But you know, but uh, what I'm saying we're, is, we're, we're talking the about conflict. <laughs> the conflict with her and her sister is no longer there. So yeah. what is it that's making her tick now? Her daddy's dead. Her sister yeah. is her sister is gone because of the Infinity Stones. Right. What is making her, what is the basis for what's driving her to do what she's going to do in the MCU is what I'm saying. 